Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, just a quick note uh, before this show starts, it's missing the last seven or eight minutes for some reason, again I'm having issues with OBS, I do apologise, um, yeah if you want to watch the re- if you want to watch the show uh, so you know what happens, uh, just head on to the youtube.com forward slash at Memphis cast, if not the link is in the description, hopefully normal service will resume next week, otherwise please do enjoy the show, thank you very much, ta-ta! This is Big F and Joe, and you're listening to the Memphis Continental Wrestling Podcast. Without Memphis, there would be no hardcore, and obviously we all know where that leads. Live your best life, die your best death. You know, I've been in this industry for a long, long time. And you know, I got my start right there in Memphis, Tennessee. So what better person than to give a little intro to the only podcast in the UK that specifically talks about Memphis wrestling? That's right. We're talking about Memphis Continental Wrestling Cast. Folks, sit back, grab you a cup of hot tea. Hope you enjoy it. Memphis Continental Wrestling Cast. Got a doggone good looking show lined up. This is the future, baby, and Jimmy Hart's here. You're not in the same caliber as I am. Who's the greatest wrestler in the world and why am I? You're acting like a hoodlum now. Come on, quit it! What do you hear? What do you say? Hello again, wrestling fans, and welcome to the studios of the Old Bakery as we get ready to give you another exciting week here at the UK's number one and only Memphis wrestling-related podcast. We are, as always, the Memphis Content Wrestling Cast. Hoping the podcast finds you fine and dandy wherever you are. This is the last Saturday in February. Unbelievably, this month has flown by. Next week, well, this time next week will be March. I think Friday is the 1st of March, it's a leap year this year, so there's, there's an extra day, 29th of February is the last day, and then we're into March on the 1st, Friday the 1st of March, uh, I think some say officially the beginning of spring, but over here in the UK it tends to be still a little bit chilly, and we uh, sometimes get a little bit uh, of snow in the March time, so uh, we will have our fingers crossed, and hopefully that does not find us this way. Please do not forget to follow us on Twitter, at Old Be- Old Bakery Pro, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button here on home, the place to be wrestling network, home of great shows such as Who's Next with This Ring, PTB Weekend Special, PTBN's Main Event, Nation Invasion, High Wilted Impact Zone, Hamburg All Stars, Monday Night Project, Pure Russia Passion, many, many other great shows brought to you on a near daily basis, and not always presented by me. You can follow the network on Twitter at PTBN Wrestling. You can also find us on our second home here, the Wrestle Copia Network, home of the hard work and Ray Russell, who brings you great shows such as the Wrestling Memory Grenade. We're here covering the WWF in the uh, first quarter of 1988. He has uh, just about got to WrestleMania 4, I believe, by now. He's also got the Regional Rashland Show, where Ray and his co-hosts talk the territories, be it 1981 Georgia with Jamie Ward, 1986 UWF with Roman Gomez, or 1985 Memphis with Gene Jackson. They have you covered. He's also got some great shows, such as The Wrestling Stoop with wrestling legend Bob Roop. He's also got a uh, Japanese wrestling show coming out. I can't remember what it's called, but it's out very soon. They're going to be covering different time periods and different... uh, people and promotions over from over in the land of the rising sun and you can also find our sister network the north south connection available on all good podcast suppliers uh at home of great shows such as new Gen mission wrestling Warzone, the jenny position alaka okiti extreme three dance chronoso and many other great shows brought to you on a near daily basis on a variety of topics and um genres that's right genres uh, the Jenny Position and Alakat Okiti are um, not uh, sort of film-based, music-based, uh, and that kind of thing. There's also the on the YouTube channel they have a specific uh, touchdown. I think what's it called? Touchdowns and takedowns uh, with uh, Kelly Nelson. He's a legend of the uh, podcasting world. There's Mr. Kelly Nelson. You can find the network on Twitter at No So Pod Network. You can also find them on YouTube. Just search North South Connection on YouTube. And that is where you'll find us. YouTube.com forward slash at Memphis Cast. Allows you to watch the episode today. It'll be in the description. You can click on there and watch it. Um, we've also got a, a plethora of things over there. Uh, well over 500 subscribers. Uh, just a quick note. 
when on the Monday Night Project, we're going over to WCW in next next week's the last WWF 94 edition of the Monday Night Project. And then two weeks after that will be the first WCW Saturday night from 1996. If you want to watch the videos, obviously they can't go on YouTube. I've tried. They won't be allowed on YouTube because of uh, them up north. So uh, I'm going to start the Patreon up again to patreon.com forward slash Memphis Cast for one. I think it's one. It's either one pound or one dollar a week. A month, sorry, a month. You get to watch the show. So you'll get two two shows a month basically if, if, if you're interested in the WCW Saturday nights and you want to watch them I don't think they're on the network or Peacock um, I don't have it so I don't know um, but I, I don't think they're on there but if you want to watch them you can patreon.com forward slash Memphis cast uh, also pro wrestling tees dot com forward slash Memphis cast if you want to buy some merchandise and while you're out and about online please visit when it was cool dot com for podcast articles and much more on retro pop culture comics wrestling movies TV toys history and more this week we are covering the 21st of April 1984 last week we covered the 14th of April where we saw some leather on flesh promos a beautiful match between Savage and McCord as well as all the usual awesomeness from the Memphis territory um, I did um, I asked for some advice from a uh, fellow podcaster who said to bleep out um, a certain word that was said. Um, I bleeped out that word, but I kept my reaction in because it just it just came out of the blue, really. And I explained what happened later in that podcast in the show. Um, if you watch the YouTube version, hopefully, I'm, as I record this, hopefully, I'm still on YouTube when it comes out. I couldn't edit the word out on the YouTube, so if anyone watched it and if anyone was offended, I sincerely apologize that's obviously terminology that i don't approve of um then or now i know it's a bit different because of who said it and who they were saying it to so there's a different connotation there um but yeah it wasn't great <laughs> so uh, it was it was a thing that happened and it, you know it's just one of those things so without further ado let's head arrow c what's happened around the rest of the wrestling world this week. So on the 15th of April 1984, AWA have a show in St. Paul, Minnesota. Kurt Henning defeats Chris Markoff. Steve-O defeats Kevin Kelly. Brad Rangans defeated Steve Regal. Not that one. Billy Robinson defeat, defeated Larry Zabisco. Black Jack Mulligan defeated Jerry Blackwell. Jesse Ventura and Mr. Soyito defeat the Fabulous Ones by disqualification. The Crusher defeats Ken Patera. Rick Martel defeats Nick Bockwinkle on the 17th of April 1984. There is a television taping in Allentown, PA for the WWF, and one of the headline matches is the Adrian Adonis and Dick Murdoch defeating Tony Atlas and Rocky Johnson for the WWF Tag Team Titles. 19th of April 1984, New Japan Pro Wrestling have a show in the Sumo Hall in Tokyo, Japan. 13,000 witness amongst other matches Bruce Hart defeating Nobuya Hononga Ray Candy Leroy Brown aka the Zambu Express and Hercules Ayalaya are in a six man tag Don Morocco is here we've got uh, Seiji Sakaguchi and Osuma Kiddo defeating the Mask Superstar and Iron Mike Sharp there is a elimination series match featuring Tatsumi Fujinami Nobuhuku Takeda Kengo Kamura, Yoshi Yaki, Yoshi Iyaki, Fujiwara, and Antonio Anuki, and they are defeating Kuniyaki Kobayashi, Isama Terianashi, Yoshi Yaki Yatsu, Animal Hamagotchi, and Riki Chushu. <laughs> I again, I sincerely apologise if I ever butcher these names and they sound horrendous. Um, I struggle with English at the best of times, so Japanese isn't my uh, forte, but we give it a go. 21st of April 1984, which is today's day. Are we on the 21st? We are on the 21st, so finally, I got carried away then. Finally, 21st of April 1984, JCP and the NWA have a show in Greensboro Coliseum, North Carolina. Attendance, 6,017 are watching Larry Hamilton and Sam Houston defeating Gary Royal and Doug Vines. Brian Adias defeating Kurt Von Hess. Greg Kabuki defeating Johnny Weaver. The Assassin defeating Angela Mosco. 
Das ist der Rhodes, Bebe, defeating Adrian Street via disqualification. NWA World Tag Team Champions Jack and Jerry Briscoe defeating Pez Watley. Pez! Pez! And Jay Youngblood. Ricky Steamboat defeating NWA United States Champion Dick Murdoch to win the title. Jimmy Valiant defeats Paul Jones in a steel cage match. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's head down to ringside to see what Lance and Dave have got for us as we cover episode 145 of the UK's number one and only Memphis... Continental Wrestling Cast. Ladies and gentlemen, Pizza Joy! group you better believe by golly hello again everybody this is lance russell and dave brown we're right along ringside and ready to go with another big day championship wrestling we got david opener today the macho man randy savage will be in here we're going against scott shannon out of liverpool england should be a good good match yes Yes, indeed then another action coming up later on today the fabulous ones will be here they will be in a uh, tag team match the pyt express will also be here we got an eight-man tag team match schedule. Some of the people in that, Rick Rude, Jim Neidhart, Ox Baker, the, Jap- uh, the uh, Japanese assassin. Then we'll come right back after the eight-man tag team match with a six-man tag match. And that'll go to the expiration of time. Harley Davidson, Dirty Rose will be involved in that one. So lots of action yeah, coming Dirty's up. back with us again at Harley, too. We're absolutely looking forward to that. Dave, looks like an exciting day when you've got an eight-man, you've got a six-man, and all the action. Plus that opening bell with Savage and Scott Shannon. We're going to be getting ready for that. Take time out now, and we'll be back in just a moment. So we've got an action-packed card. This is a, a lengthy episode. Well, let's say lengthy. It's one hour and six minutes. So I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be adverts. We might be lucky. But we're going to be seeing uh, the likes of uh, the Japanese assassin. I can't remember who that was. Was that Sabu? But you know, I can't remember who his mask was. He was a black ninja. That was a black ninja. I don't know who the Japanese assassin is. We'll find out. Yes, you like Lance and Dave said, we've got a six-man, an eight-man, two tags, and an opener of Randy Savage and Scott Shannon. So without further ado, let's get down to do it. Somebody was holding up a sign I thought you might be interested. Yeah, there it is, right over there. Well, at least they called you a big whip. Yeah, that's right. Well, let me tell you what. Even the signs can't worry me today. The people can't worry me Feeling good, huh? Baby, I feel great. What a super day for professional wrestling. And I got a little piece of film I'm going to show you very shortly. But let me, on a sadder note, you know, two things happened this week in my life. One very tragic and one very positive and very happy. The, the sad thing, and I think you've got a little clip of this on the, on the bulletin board now, if you'll show it. A very close and personal friend of mine, Andy Kaufman, is dying of cancer. I know you laugh about it. Go ahead, you laugh. You people are sick. I'm not gonna laugh. But let me tell you what, the man who can't sleep at night is Jerry Lawler. How can Jerry Lawler go to bed at night thinking about what he did to this man? Because everybody knows five ways of cancer, baby, five ways. And the number one way of catching cancer is when you get a bruise or, or, or a lump on you, man. That's cancer. And he's got cancer of the brain, and that is called from that pile driver that Jerry Lawler... Don't go all, Jimmy. You know it's caused about it. Because of the pile driver, Lawler, you gave Andy Kaufman cancer, and he is dying, baby, and that is the fact. But it's going to be payback for you. Now, that's number one. But going to a happier note, Big Joe LaDuke, baby, is on his way back. Let me tell you something. Eddie Marlin, Mr. Tight Pocket, the big man of professional wrestling, he thought he was going to throw a curveball at Jimmy Hart because he thinks Jimmy Hart can't hit curves. But, baby, I can hit anything. So what I did, I got me a good attorney. I got me a good lawyer. And you know what he found out right here? And the paper came in the mail yesterday afternoon 
You can't refuse a wrestler or anybody else his right to work. And that's exactly what Eddie Marlin tried to do with the help of Jerry Lawler. So all those petitions y'all signed didn't do a bit of good, baby, because Joe LaDuke is on his way back. And it will be payback time for you, Hold Jerry on. the King Lawler. That'll make but Lawler a happy. super day in you wrestling, mark my words, a super day in wrestling. Now, I've got a little piece of video I want to show you of a pep talk that I had with the first family of wrestling. Can y'all guys roll that film up there, brother? This is a y'all watch, you might learn something. You know, guys, the reason I've called this meeting, I'll be perfectly honest with you, this is the first time in the history of the professional wrestling family of the family, baby, in five and a half years that we don't have any championships. Look at you, Ox Baker. It's no good. Man. Look at you, man. 325 pounds, six foot three, right? You, you need to finish the job on Dutch Mantel. I mean, you started it. You put him out for a couple Give of years. Give me a danger. But we want him out permanently. Permanently. You know what I'm trying to yes. tell you? The PYT Express. Look at you, baby. Superstars in professional wrestling. You've got the speed. You've got the ability. You've got the look. You've got everything it takes. There's only one thing standing in our way from a world championship title match, and that's the fabulous ones who have stolen our belt. Well, baby, we want to get those belts back at any cost. Randy Savage, the first time in the history that I've known you that you don't have any kind of belt. Yeah. I mean, you're a superstar. You are a superstar in wrestling. You know it, I know it, and the people know it. But do you realize we have no belts at all? We've got to get one at all costs. Yes. Nightheart, former Oakland Raider, Dallas Cowboy football player, right? Look at the Oakland image. Look at their image. The bad boys of football, man. We need to keep that image with you here, baby. We need to start ripping some heads off. Now, are we going to do that? You're right. You better man. believe we are. Look at Rick Rude here. Rick, look at you. Your head's down. You're wearing a dress. Get that camera out of here. You've got all the people laughing at you. The rednecks are going to be laughing. They're making fun of you, and they're making fun of Jimmy Hart and the family. Now, what are we going to do about it? We're going to start getting even with some people, aren't we? Anybody that you face in the ring, we're going to start hurting. Am I right or wrong? So, man, we've got... Basically, what I'm trying to tell you is this, without stumbling and bumbling around here. We can get up. Right on. Pack up our tent, and we can leave, or we can start kicking some butts. Now, what are we going to do? We're going to get All right. What are we going to do? Get All right. Get Well, what a cheery group that is. Here comes Mark back in now. With the macho man, Randy Savage. Yeah, we saw him. Randy Savage, the macho man. Man, up in the ring, his opponent just steps in right now. This is going to be a one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. Introducing from Liverpool, England, the 222-pound Scott Shannon, and going against him, 235 pounds from Sarasota, Florida, the Macho Man, Randy Savage. And he has Angelo Papo and Jimmy Hart in his corner. Referee Jerry Calhoun, one-fall, ten-minute time limit match. Okay, the bell sounded. We're off and running with a macho man going against Scott Shannon. It ought to be a the bell is ringing. We're underway. Scott Shannon, yellow trunks, black boots. Randy Savage, yellow trunks, black boots. <laughs> Randy Savage whipping Scott Shannon hard into that uh, corner. Scott Shannon, aka Scott McGee. Green ropes here. Yeah, blue canvas. Joe Calhoun with a lovely maroon top. Beige trouser. Beige trouser. Randy Savage through, Scott McGee outside, Joey Calhoun's being distracted, distracted. Oh, the double axe from the top to the outside by Randy. Oh, yeah. Angelo Poffo and Jimmy Hart on the outside, as always, with Randy Savage. Randy Savage through, Scott McGee into the ring. Second rip on the inside. Oh, Albert at the top of the head by Randy. Second rip on the inside. We are in Memphis, so top rope maneuvers are illegal. Randy Savage with a beautiful stolen suplex on Scott Jamman. Randy Savage is still as intense as always. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. Scott Shannon kicks out. Full house here as always in the WMC studios. Over at the top of the head by Savage. Goes to the outside. Going to the top rope. Angelo Poffo and Jimmy Hart distracting the referee. Randy Savage on the top rope. And he goes for a... Oh, but Scott Shannon moved. Scott Shannon moved. Randy went for the top rope, but Scott Shannon moved. Scott Shannon now firing a big right hand by the Liverpudlian. Kick to the gut. <laughs> Oh, European uppercut there, as we call it, an uppercut. <laughs> and a oh, reverse atomic drop by Scott Shannon. He is fired up, baby, he's fired up. 
Oh, Jimmy Hart's on the apron, and Jimmy Hart gets a forearm smash, and again, Jimmy Hart's dropped his cane. Randy Savage from behind. Randy Savage from behind. No. Oh, I waited until Scott Shannon turned around and pushed him in the face with the cane. One, two, three. And another match. Randy Macho Man Savage. Man. Of Randy Savage is raised and is going to be declared the victor. Yeah, beautiful victory. I would hate to even claim that for a victory. They ended up using you and I could see it perfectly. The referee is down trying to separate uh, Hart and get Hart back out of there as he jumped up on the ring apron and Scott Shannon got him. Hart then it popped in his cane. Savage picks up the cane, right? Slams him right there with it and ends up getting a one, two, three on it. Uh, I think we can take a look at it in, in case you missed uh, what happened. There's Hart. Okay, look, see the cane? cane rolled in. Savage grabs it off the floor, Dave. Mm -hmm. Picks Pick it, it up. up. You can see exactly what he does with it right now. Shannon turns around, bam, nails him right in the head. Yeah, jabbed him with it. Ends up getting a one, two, three on it, and they can say that's a beautiful victory, which Angelo Poffo said. I, know, I can't see it. Well, the victory does go to uh, the Savage. What was the time? 205. 205. The winner, Randy Savage, over Scott Shannon. Back. We've got plenty of action to go. We'll be to it in a moment. <laughs> He's the man that's responsible for the tape that we'll be looking at in a moment. Well, first of all, Lance, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a happy Easter a day in advance. You know, and right now, this particular day, I feel really ultra, ultra good. The cockles of my heart are really on fire because, as you well know, we've got a little tape here that really I want to see, and everybody in the Mid-South deserves to see, and I want to take a look at it right now if okay. we can. Let's look at it right now before we go on, Austin. <laughs> We're seeing footage of cage match. Rick Rude versus Austin Idol. Very small cage, just barely over the top rope. Barely, barely over the top rope, this cage. It's like your traditional Memphis cage where it's around the ring, around the outside of the ring, it's on the ring. Rude in control after Jimmy Hart just threw some coke in the face of Austin Idol. Rick Rude goes for that swing and neck breaker. Rude loses, he wears a dress. Austin Idol loses, he goes bald. Oh, Rick Rude went for a double axe handle from the top rope, but Austin Idol's punched him in the gut. One, two, three, it's over. Holy moly, that was a uh, shite finish. Jimmy Hart and Angel not happy. Rude having to wear this dress now for the next 21 days. Poor Rick Rude been absolutely humiliated in this. I'm going to wear this dress now for the next 21 days. Yeah, I love it too. And there you have it right there. Wrestling's answer to rock and roll's boy George. Boy Rick, you know, but I'm going to put this title down for a second right now here, Lance. Okay. You know, I've got a little something extra for Rick Rude right here that I think will really make him look extra, extra nice on Easter Day. First of all, oh. a nice pair of white high heels, which I'm sure he'll look awfully sweet in as he's going down to confettis, and a nice little purse where he can carry his lipstick and his makeup and everything else in it right there. But as far as, as, far as Rick Rude goes, I am through. I wash my hands with Rick Rude. Watch out, watch out. You got me going with Rick Rude, baby. You ain't starting with me, baby. Come on. Ready? Okay, you right now. Macho Man Randy Savage is here, baby. Oh, you got any guts at all? I'm going to take that belt right there. Oh, I'll get You're going to hold me back right there. Come on, big man. Come on. Come on. You ain't the funny man. Come on. Come on, baby. There you go. Look, Look Bart, he's got a match coming up here. There's no point in getting Come on. in there and start going. Hey, we just talked the man out of the match. We just got that back. Come on, Austin. You want to be a comedian out here? You don't have to. Hey, Austin, you don't have to get in there. These clowns will try anything in the world. I may not have to get in the last, but I'll tell you one thing. I don't back up, sidestep, or receive from nobody. He wants a match today. He's got a match today. You better give it some, some, some consideration. Will you get that? I guess he's got more guts than I thought he There you go, Savage. Like I said, baby, a new day in wrestling, Russell. Yeah, fine, new day. Anything going according to the rules of heart. 
Austin Idol in the ring now with Randy Savage. A match is underway. Randy Savage still wearing his yellow trunks, black boots. Austin Idol wearing blue tights, white boots. Austin Idol getting peppered with right hands and now slammed by Savage. Savage second rope on the inside. Oh, lovely second rope elbow drop. Holy moly. Picks him up. Chokes him over the top rope. Slingshots him off the top rope. Savage picks him up. He's going for a pile driver. He's going for a pile driver, but he blocks it. No. Savage now going for a... No. Austin blocked. Austin idle blocked. Oh, no, Savage gets him up with a suplex. Suplex is him. Savage goes for the cover. One, two, kick out by Austin. Oh, ran by Savage. Austin Idol is the international champion. Oh, this is a non-title affair, I believe. Austin Idol on the canvas. Randy Savage on the top rope. Randy Savage on the top rope. Oh! No, that was a fucking piss poor. Idol tried to roll out of the way and Savage just barely, barely grazed him. That was terrible. Ooh. Left hands again by Savage. Oh, over at the top of the head. Austin Idol is on the... Uh, on the... Down... On the... What's the word? I can't remember what it's called. Austin Idol blocks the uh, suplex and hits one of his own. Austin Idol's got a 1991 Ric Flair haircut here. Idol's now up. Big right hand by the Universal Heart Throb. Left hand, left hand, left hand, left hand. Big right hand. Idol picks up Savage, picks him up and slams him down. Second rope on the inside for Idol. Oh, elbow. Jimmy Hart's on the apron. Jimmy Hart's on the apron. Austin Idol grabs Jimmy Hart. Big right hand. Savage has got the cane. Oh no, Austin Idol turns around and kicks him. Austin Idol's got the snaps the cane in half, throws the cane outside, ducks the right hand, picks up Savage, and knee breaker by Idol. Let's go for that Las Vegas leg lock. That was weirdly put on. Oh, but Jim Neidhart comes in and drops a big elbow on Austin Idol. Clobber and shot to the back now by Neidhart, and again, and again. Picks him up with ease. Backbreaker by Jim Neidhart. Randy Savage is now up and he's now going to the top rope. Savage is going up to the top rope. Oh, Jimmy, Hart's, Jimmy Neidhart's got Austin Idol. Oh, like a top rope heart attack manoeuvre there. Jim Neidhart now stomping away. Randy Savage covering Austin Idol and Jim Neidhart makes the cover. Jimmy Hart is very happy with what's just happened here. was a disqualification day when Neidhart rolled in there. The match wasn't an official match, but a whale of a match going, and Jim Neidhart, when Austin Idol came back and had Savage on the ropes, man, and ready for that pin, Neidhart jumps in there. Southern 
Jag belts and tack around their waist. They've got him now. Tommy, how are you doing? Tommy? And, yeah. By golly, I was just saying, what a job it is, too, to try to keep those belts intact. Everybody shoots for them. You know, I heard, uh, you know, we talked to Jackie Fargo. You know, he give us a little pep talk, Jimmy Hart. He said, keep doing what you're doing. TCB, take care of business. So hard, just like I said. You bring them all on. Bring Rick Rude in his little dress. We won't want know whether to dance or fight him, but bring him on down. It don't matter. You bring anybody in your family you want to bring, because just like we said, with these people behind us and Jackie Fargo telling us what to do, we're going to be here a long time. Now. Yeah, I tell you, we got some big bad ones around here. Guys like this night are, the anvil is awfully big. They got the night heart, they got ox bait. At Rick Root, and they got the PYT Express, which we know a lot about, and we've had our run ins with them. They got this uh, macho man, Randy Savage, who's the craziest loon I've ever seen before in my life. But I want to tell you something, me and Tommy. We're family. We can get down and we can boogie, and we love to party, and we're ready to go right now. Okay, do it. We got to see you in the ring, right? All right, back, back, back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the fabulous ones, Wildfire and Eddie Gilbert. All right, Dave, let's have the introductions on our next match. It's going to be a one fall, 10 minute time limit match, introducing at a total weight of 461 pounds. From Memphis, Tennessee, both of them, Keith Robertson and Pat Hutchinson. And going against him at a total weight of 434 pounds from Hendersonville, Tennessee, and from Lexington, Tennessee, Tommy Rich and Eddie Gilbert, the fabulous ones. One fall, 10-minute time limit match, Jerry Calhoun is the referee. We're back, and we've got tag team action. Keith Robertson and David Hutchinson going against the fabulous ones. Eddie and Tommy, Eddie starting for his team, red tights, white boots, Pat Hutchinson, black trunks, black boots. Go behind takedown by Eddie Gilbert. Pat gets the ropes. We've seen Eddie, oh, four or five years ago when he was a very young man here before he went off to the WWF. It's a photographer guy at the ringside kneeling down, taking photos. He scurries away. Single leg takedown by Eddie. Tags in Wildfire. Look at Husky. Oh, top elbow, elbow at the top of the head even. Knee lift by Tommy. He's wearing matching uh, red tights with white boots. Hutchinson backs off into the corner. Kind of a top. Arm drag takedown by Tommy. In on our bar. Bar, bar, bar. Hey, hey. Someone say something about an arm drag. Tommy Rich taking down Pat Hutchinson with a bit of a hair pull here. But Tommy Rich here is a former former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. A historic and prestigious five days that Mr. Rich held that title, defeating and then losing two handsome Harley Race. Tagging uh, Eddie. Oh, and punch to Pat Hutchinson. Reverse, uh, no, yeah, side head up, shove off, no, shove off by Pat. Shoulder tackle down goes Pat. Eddie Gilbert uh, picks up Pat with another side headlock. Pat pulls him into his corner using the trunks, tags in, no, clobber and shots now by Pat. Tags in the uh, Keith Robertson, black tights, black boots. Bigger than Pat Hudson, but a bit more built than, a bit more stout. No, stout is no, stout's not the word. Oh, Tommy Richardson there, by go away from the second rope on to Keith Richardson. Robertson, sorry, picks him up, slams him down. Who the hell's Keith Richardson? Leg drop there by Tommy. Picks up Keith Robertson, whips him. Big back over by Tommy. Picks him up by the hair, tags in Gilbert. Irish hit by Tommy. Uh, big back over by Eddie. Down goes Keith. Oh, drops the knee across the head. Excuse me. Eddie picks him up with ease. He's a big boy. Slams him down. Eddie tags in Tommy. Tommy's in. Oh, big knee lift there. Not quite a million dollar. But that'll do. It's offensive. I say it's not offensive. It is offensive. No, it's not offensive. It works. I've lost all my words. Inside baseball, ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording. I'm, I always try and keep a few weeks ahead. I'm recording. You won't hear it till the 24th of February. I'm recording it on the 6th of February. I haven't recorded since the 20th of January. So uh, I'm a bit. Uh, 
sleeper hold by Eddie. Keith is going down a bit, uh, a bit um, forgetful of my words. Out of practice, that's it. I'll get the picture. <laughs> Top some second time. Uh, third time, that was a rings the bell. The fabulous ones win with a sleeper. <laughs> Wee. They're not Stephen Stan, that's for fucking sure. But that'll do. They're Eddie Gilbert and they're Tommy Rich and they're uh, practically perfect in every way. Oh, and he now slaps Pecky Robertson in the back of the neck to wake the wake him up. The new fabulous ones are your winners. Trouble out here. Now you know there wasn't any excuse in that kind of thing with Neidhart jumping Listen, in behind. What did I tell you? You saw the film. What did it say, baby? It says from now on we're going to start kicking you know what and taking names later. Now let me tell you something. What do you I've got, got in a little box. piece of none of your business. Bomb, I've got bro. something I will show you on my good time. But I've got a little piece of film. You know, several weeks ago, you people saw me get my back whipped in that ring. And I swore that I would get even, baby. And I did. I've got a little piece of film. Seeing is believing. Show the film, boys. Come on, roll the film. Okay. Up there, baby. Oh, Jerry Lawler, humongous, non-title about hard it oh Jerry ties it up with him not a good move so we see footage of Lord Humongous going against Jerry Lawler Lord Humongous here is Jeff Von Kemp Kemp um, he is not the uh, the giant Lord Humongous that we would know uh, in a year or two that would be uh, our Lord and Saviour Sidney Aloysius Udi <coughs> Naughty Mungus got a uh, hockey mask on, Jason esque with a uh, black. Well, he's it, basically Naughty Mungus. If you've ever seen the Mad Mad Max films, Naughty Mungus is in that film and he's dressed up like this. This is, I would put money on purely a uh, Jerry Lawler creation. Jerry Lawler inf infamously being a fan of like horror films. Naughty Mungus slams Jerry Lawler down with ease. Jerry Lawler wearing all white, white singlet, white boots. Jerry Lawler trying to get away from Humongous, but he can't. The big man absolutely pummeling away on Lawler here. Whips him corner to corner. Follows him in. Oh, with a big knee to the gut of Lawler's. Humongous clubbering forearm to the back. Oh, forearm smash. Jimmy Hart very happy with what's uh, been done to Lawler here. Every time Lawler smashes Lord Humongous in the face, he hurts his own fist because of that mask that Humongous is wearing. It must be difficult for Jeff Von Kemp to be uh, breathing in that, but he's doing all right. Smashing around the king. Oh, big right hand. Nothing pretty about the uh, the move the move set of Lord Humongous, but it's working. He looks like an impressive son of a bitch. on Humongous yet in 10 minutes. Now we've seen Lawler slow start, but I gotta tell you, this guy drops with an elbow and he looks like he is totally dominant. He's choking the referee, counts him off. Big elbow again, Humongous. Picks him up. Lance is doing a very good job of putting over Humongous. Which is what your commentary, uh, commentary man is there to do. For the viewer at home, Lord, I've taken some punches, taken some elbows. He's taken this. Uh, oh, the strap is down. The strap is down. Lord, oh no, Lord, now I'm able to pound away on that mask. Oh, big round by Lord, uh, by um, Humongous. Forearm smash again. So we've not again the the offensive movers. Offensive movers are uh, not the greatest. But they're working. Oh, chokehold now. Sleeper hold, chokehold kind of thing. It's like a triangle. I don't know. It's like a rear naked choke there, I think, by Humongous. Lifting Lawler off his feet. Ring the bell. Joey Calhoun rings the bell. Joey Calhoun rings the bell. The winner of the match, Lord Humongous. Lawler bleeding from the mouth. Putting Humongous over even more here. With this visualization, that's obviously why Lawler was wearing white. <laughs> Humongous, and I have seen Lawler busted around. I have never seen him 
I have never seen him take that kind of punishment. Waller being helped back to the dressing room. Not often do you see Lawler just abused and finally the referee has to stop it. But I said not often, never have I ever seen about stop What do you like think, this. baby? Hey, what do you think, people? Look at him. You're a king, big rough guy. That I've got... was only the first time Lawler saw it. You're a Lawler fan. Big deal. He can see him for the next ten years and I promise it's going to be the same way. One, two, three. Humongous, the greatest road warrior of them all. Now, Lawler. If you can come out here, if you've got enough guts to come out here and stand out here with Jimmy Hart, will you come out here because I've got a little surprise for you and all of your Jerry Lawler fans over here, baby. Come on out. I want him out here. I'm, I'm not, not really sure I trust what you got I, in the you box right You can trust right me, here. I promise. I've got something right here for you, Lawler, and for all you fans over here. What is this? Jimmy backing up already. I want you to get far enough away. He's really happy. Let me let me just say something first of all before you know before Hart continues running his mouth. I think we've heard just about all we need to hear out of Hart today. But but first of all, I would like to I would like to do this, Lance. I'd like to apologize, and it's not often that I've had to come out and apologize to my fans because for years the people here in Memphis have supported me and uh, I feel like made me what I am but I am here today to apologize for the match that you just saw I, I've you know I have I guess been guilty in the past of underestimating an opponent but never more so than this guy that Hart came up with I don't want to take anything away from him he is the, without a doubt one of the biggest the strongest and everything but at the same time you know, he's got a little, he's got that face mask for protection and everything. Unfair. All I can say is, next time I get in the ring with him, it's going to be a different story. I can promise you that. Hart, next time it'll be a different story. I'm making you that promise, too. Are you through crying? Are you through crying so I can get through crying here? All the tears. Well, let me tell you something, King, and for all you loyal King followers out there... You know what? For five and a half years of my life, big man, for five and a half years of my life, the stitches of blood, me spending money out of my own pocket trying to bring people in, baby. Well, Monday night was the greatest night of my life to see you laying face down, unconscious with blood coming from your mouth, baby. And I told the people then, and I'm going to tell them now, Monday was the greatest night of my life, and today is the greatest day of my life. From now on, from now on, you people can call me King James Jimmy Hart, baby. Oh, no. I am the new king of wrestling, baby. You are finished. You are washed up. You are past history, baby. And I am the future of professional wrestling, baby. Never let me just Let me tell you, Hart. We'll just make sure he don't have a future. Hey, that sounds good to me. Oh, yeah, come on. Hard up there with a the crown. Uh-oh, here comes the road warrior, Humongous. He grabs Lawler from behind. And Rick McCord comes through and kicks him in the back of the head. I'm not sure that was a good idea. Humongous jumps in the ring. Humongous now in the ring, choking out uh, Rick McCord. Rick McCord was in the ring. Uh, look looked like he was going to have a match, but Jimmy, uh, he saved Jerry Lawler. But he's uh, now getting uh, absolutely uh, drilled, uh, bleeding from the mouth again. So they're definitely putting over this um, this man's ability of choking people out, making them bleed from the mouth. They, all the enhancement guys are coming out, but they get absolutely brutalized by Humongous. Jimmy Hart's attacking Jerry Lawler. Robert Reed out now, he's getting choked out. Jerry Law now smashed Jimmy out to the ground. Jerry Law's in the ring from behind on Humongous. Lawler takes his shirt off. Both men. Oh, big right hand by Lawler. Right hand by Humongous. Right hand by Lawler. Oh, sorry, forearm smashed by Lawler. It's the best way to get Humongous down because he knows he's not going to be able to do anything to that face. 
Lula ducks. Lula's trying to take the mask off. Lula's trying to take the mask off. Lula's trying to take the mask off. Hemingus has got hold of it though and rolls out the ring just. Holy moly. To really register a shot on the jaw in there. And uh, Lawler over helping up Rick McCord because McCord suffered the same fate Lawler, fate Lawler did. Uh, he was bleeding from the mouth and the referee stopped it as Lawler goes over to help him. A guy who is a friend of Dutch Mantel that we got a little piece of action on here. I, I, I want to show everybody gets a kick out of seeing it. Uh, Bugsy McGraw. Let's take a look at some action of Bugsy. Footage of uh, Bugsy McGraw in a mixture of Memphis and Texas. He's against uh, Randy Savage in Memphis, and uh, he's against various other people in Texas. Bugsy McGraw, uh, always the entertainer here, always their fan favourite. Working over, I think I think he's a lawyer oh, in Texas. I'm not sure. Doing the curly shuffle. Hey, Mo, hey, Mo, hey, Mo, hey, Mo. Sort of weird Three Stooges song here. Trying to uh, get Bugsy over. Some sort of weird. Uh, he rubs his head and then does some sort of weird back dance. If you want to watch, obviously, if you want to watch this, uh, you can on the old uh, YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Memphis Cast. Description in the uh, a link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Any <Maybe> too much? <laughs> okay, we're going to take time out. We're going to be back here at Action Just a Moment. We'll be seeing the Dutchman PYT Express. Lots of others in just one moment. Good to see you back. Okay, I've been gone for a little while, and I guess you wonder where I've been. And I have wondered where you've been. You want to know where I've been? I want you to I'm not going to tell you, Lance, because it's a secret, and if oh. I told you, then you know. But the while I've been gone, I've been thinking about one man, Ox Baker, the big goof. Now, you know, I've laid awake at night, and I've had nightmares, that big, ugly face looking down on me. And a couple weeks ago, he hit me with a heart punch. But let me say one thing. The only reason he really got me with that heart punch in the first place is because Jimmy Hart distracted me. And I think I can run from that heart punch long enough so he can't hit me with it. But he got me with it, baby, and it's like a 10-ton truck hitting you, hits you right there. Mm. And, baby, I saw stars, and it hurt. But I'm going to say one thing, Baker, I hadn't forgot about it. I remember a lot of things, Lance, and I remember you too, Baker, and you're in my thoughts day and night. And I'm going to guarantee you something, and I'm going to guarantee all these fans something too because I'm coming back. And I'm coming back expressly for you, Baker, because we've got a little score to settle. And we can't sell it talking about it or looking at each other. We can sell it inside the ring, and that's exactly where we're going to be. Baker, your time is coming. Your name is on the list, and you're rapidly coming up. And when you get there, it's going to be a whole different story the next time around, Lance. Now, a lot of guys have put me down. But the mark of a good man is if he can get back up and come back, and I'm coming back. Baker, you put that in your pipe and smoke it. I'm looking for you, baby. Well, the Dutchman's got a memory like an elephant, no question about that, and uh, he'll be after the Ox. Okay, Dave, I think we're about ready to go with our next match uh, coming up here, are we not? Uh, I think we probably are, yes, yeah. Yes, we are. Here comes uh, one side of the ring, David Johnson, Robert Reeves, stepping up on uh, to the ring apron. And... Uh, 
WIP steps up on the ring apron. We are just about ready to go here. It's going to be one fall, 10-minute time limit match. Introducing a total weight of 424 pounds over the right of the screen. Both from Memphis, Tennessee, David Johnson and Robert Reed. And going against them at 437 pounds with their manager, Jimmy Hart. The PYT Express, Norvell Austin and Coco Ware. One fall, 10-minute time limit. The referee is Jerry Calhoun. Tag team action once again, and once again, J Jimmy Hart is at ringside. We've got Robert Reed and David Johnson going against PYD Express. Coco starter for his team, Black Trunks, White Boots going against Robert Reed, Red Trunks, Black Boots. If men call over top, Coco pushes him at the ropes, rips him, big back body drop. Down goes Reed. Coco having a little, uh, little dance, little boogie. Tags into Norvell Austin, Black Trunks, Gold Boots. Robert Reed in the wrong part of town. Oh, one going to chop there by Coco as he leaves. Headbutt by Norvell. Robert Reed goes flying across the ring. Oh, big smash. Big forearm smash again on the ropes. Norvell Austin has got Robert Reed, whips him. Oh, big back elbow down goes Robert Reed. Tags into Coco. David Johnson tagged in. David Johnson, white trunks, black boots. He's met with a Irish whip and a big flying back over by Coco. He got on the back of his trunks. PYT got a uh, boombox at ringside and they playing music, having a little dance, having a good time. Double Irish whip by the PYT. Double back over down goes David Johnson. Norvell picks up. Oh, big knee lift there by Norvell. Picks up David Johnson with these. Backbreaker. Picked him up like a fucking bag of sugar there, brother. Coco back in. Coco's going for a suplex. I don't know if he was going for the old Ghostbuster there, but he wasn't. He went for a lovely suplex. Both guys there. Uh, Boogie and jiving, having a fun time. Dancing the music, whipping some butt. Is he got on his something and tell? What the hell has he got on his trunks? David Johnson's got something written on the back of his trunks. Something, something, and like show and tell? The Veloston slams him down again with ease. Measures him, drops an elbow. And then, oh, knee to the collarbone. Tags into Coco. PYT are having fun here, I tell you that. They're having a good time. Show and tell, it says on the back of David Johnson's trunks for some reason. Oh, spine buster, belly to belly suplex off the ropes, if you will, by Coco. And he gets the one, two, three. Your winners, the PYT Express. They took the measure of David Johnson and Robert Reed. Uh, they got the pin in there. So it was kind of sensational power slam, Dave. Boy, he really went up in the air, and look at Stagger as he whips David into the rope. As he comes off of it, now watch him. He goes up in the air with him. Look how high. Bang! Oh, oh, oh. I think that doesn't rattle every bone in my body just taking a look at it a second time. Oh, he had that momentum, and he just turned it and used it to power him down to the mat. He really did with the music of Blair. The PYG comes through victorious in that particular match with the team of David Johnson and Robert Reed. Okay, we want to uh, bring up the mention of another. Okay, gentlemen, we got it. The mention of another tag team. Oh, you're funky and a half, Norvell. Jimmy Hart, direct him toward the door, please, while we take time out to see. One of the favorite tag teams of a lot of the fans. They love to see them together. Harley Davidson and Dirty Road. Let's take a look. Jimmy Hart, get them the fuck out of the way. <laughs> There's a music video this time. Harley Davidson and Dirty Road. Beautiful. Seeing them in a match in a very empty Mid South Coliseum. Holy moly, you can see the empty seats there. It's because it's well lit. It's not the usual. Um, Dimly lit Mid South Coliseum. Uh, it's a clipper from the Jerry Lawler show where they're playing some guitars. Hip tossing with the uh, Bruise Brothers. Pork Chuck Cash and uh, 
Dream Machine. The crowd that is there that they're showing on the hard cam are oh, loving Harley Davidson and Dirty Roads, but my god, there are some empty seats. Holy moly! We haven't seen Dirty Roads for a while. Harley's been about. Uh, Obviously, with some of the matches we've seen, have been clipped, but we saw them February the 25th. Team of Scott Shannon, according my notes here, my little book. Harley Davidson was here a couple weeks ago with Omar Atlas against PYT. Yeah, so we haven't seen him. Haven't seen him much. Okay, Dave, my boy, we are getting ready to go into our. Multiple matches, six man, eight man matches before we get to the ring. Jimmy Hart comes out with You know, the family is a little mad at me. Dutch Mandel come out here and made a mistake in his life. He took one hard punch and said he'd like to get back in the ring with me. Dutch Mandel, the second time I throw that hard punch, they're going to have to bring an ambulance and carry you out of I promised the family. I'm going to hurt you very, very bad. They're going to carry him out of here. They're going to carry him out of here right now. I want everyone to shut up. I want everyone to shut up and listen to what I have to say. Some very unfortunate circumstances have happened to my good friend, Rick Rude. Shut up! Because of that pimple neck, little pimple face, Austin Idol. And this hick promotion. Just for those, of, for those of you who don't watch the YouTube videos, uh, Jim Knight, ha hey, he doesn't have his goatee beard at the minute. He's very sort of, um, very, uh, he's not smooth shaven, but he's got sort of just a normal looking beard. He doesn't have the uh, the classic like Jim Knight hat um, goatee. And it might not be today, and it might not be tomorrow, but next time I get my hands on you, brother, next time will be the last time, and it's going to be real good. Rick Rude. Jim, I'm tired of the talking. Let's get into some action right here. And quite a team it is. There's no doubt about it. They will be vastly favored as they step in. Lionheart, Rick Rude, and for the first time, the Japanese assassin. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, okay. We got eight men, right? Call for the bell. Yeah, okay. Come on, baby. Come on. So we've got... Um, Tiger mask by the looks of it. Keith Eric. Robert Reed back out again and Mad Dog. We haven't seen Mad Dog for a while. And they are going against Ox Baker, the Japanese assassin, Japanese assassin Rick Rude and Jim Neidhart. Keith Eric in their blue trunks, blue boots. Rick Rude in there now. He's wearing a, a very floral dress with some uh, white boots. <laughs> <laughs> Silver boots. Jim Neidhart tagged in. Oh, big uh, leap and stomp there by Neidhart. Black tights, white boots. Ox Baker has been in. He's wearing red tights, red boots. And the Japanese assassin is wearing a, uh, a ninja outfit. Got no idea who he is. Could be anybody. Jim Neidhart choking away on uh, Keith Eric now. Puts him up over his shoulders. Oh, just slams him into the ropes. What the piss was that? Mad Dog now in. Mad Dog tagged in, black and red tights, black boots, he's a big boy. He can, he'll match, uh, he'll match guts with Jim Neidhart, that's for, probably only sure. Ox Baker now in, pummeling away on Mad Dog in the corner, left and right, left and right, left and right. The veteran here, Ox Baker, the veteran of life, 217 years old is Mr. Baker. Rick Rude now in, whips Mad Dog corner, corner hard, tag into 
Tiger Mask, blue and black tights, black boots, Tiger Mask. This is a total, and I will guarantee you, a total ripoff of the Japanese legend Tiger Mask. I would imagine that's probably, again, somebody that's here all the time. Jim Neidhart catches Tiger Mask off the whip and slams him down. That's probably the same geezer who played Jag. There was a there was a character here a few weeks. A character, good lord, a wrestler here a few weeks ago called uh, the Jaguar. I think that was Danny Davis, Keith, something like that. As best as who Tiger Mask is. Looks like now pummeling around Robert Reed, who's in the ring, who's just been in here against fucking PYT. Just doing double duty. Looks like a slam from Reed and then stomps him in the fucking near penis. Japanese assassin now in, kicking away at Robert Reed. Robert Reed rolls and tags in Keith Eric. Japanese assassin with some kicks. Oh, lightning like fast feet there by the Japanese assassin. Rams Keith Eric into the corner, tags in Jim Neidhart. Jim Neidhart back in. Power slam! Poor slam there by Neidhart on Keith Eric, but picks him up with a two. Tags in the Ravish and Rick Rude. Rick Rude now with a swinging neck breaker. Drops an elbow. Goes for the cover. One, two, three. The winners of the match. Ox Baker, Japanese Assassin, Rick Rude and Jim Neidhart. Tiger Mask, Mad Dog, Keith Eric, and Robert Reed. They kept Keith Eric in there most of the match. Keith Eric and, uh, and Mad Dog uh, were the two that were in there most of the time. And the Big family team, just, yeah. too, boy. Yeah. I gotta tell you, with Rude and Baker and Neidhart and, and this Japanese assassin, no, you can't really tell too much about a guy in an eight-man tag like that. We couldn't, but what we did see him, it looks like he's got some pretty good moves. Yeah, pretty fair-sized guy, to say the very least. Uh, three minutes... Something of yeah, that? three minutes, 18 seconds. Okay, 318, and um, let's go back and watch the final pin when Rick Rude, who showed nothing but anger, and I guess, brother, that <laughs> is brought about by that attire that he's wearing. There's a reverse neck breaker. Rude really slams him down hard. He'll go for a cover, and we <clears throat> will be looking at a one, two, three. Big fall coming up to the ring right now. We're just going to keep on going, Dan. Yeah. an eight man. Let's go with a six man. Six man right here. Oh, here comes Harley and Dirty. By golly, people love to see them coming in. Dirty hopping through, and he's going after the grappler. Ooh. And the referee says, "Let us bring." So another match beginning uh, quickly. Not a lot of opportunity for introductions today. <laughs> Dirty Rhodes and Harley Davidson. Oh, Brickhouse Brown. We've got Pink Panther, the Black Scorpion, who I don't think is uh, Ole Anderson. <laughs> and uh, the Grappler. I'm not sure which Grappler that is. I think that's Tony. No, I think that's Len. I think that's Len Denton. I think that's the good Len Denton grappler. Um, and they're going against Brickhouse Brown, Harley Davidson, and Dusty the Dirty Roads. Dirty Roads is wearing a red and blue chunks, white boots. Grappler's wearing black and black tights, black boots, white masks, spinning around. And Dirty Roads picks him up. Oh, atomic drop. That is. I think that's Len. I'm pretty sure that's Len Denton. The Black Scorpion in now. Big. Jesus Christ, he is a huge man. He is built. Black singlet, black boots, black mask. Brickhouse Brown now in. Blue trunks, white boots. Oh, over at the back of the head. Dango, well, he's... Uh, he, black Scorpion looks apart, but he is absolutely fucking shocking. Backbreaker there by Brickhouse Brown. Neat the back. Snap mare taken. Oh my God, this Black Scorpion is absolutely dreadful. Irish hit by Brickhouse. Big back elbow dangos to Black Scorpion. Please go away. 
He's as worse as the Black Scorpion in WCW. Forearm smashed by Brickhouse. Rocks the Black Scorpion. What the f- what? Jesus Christ, what was that? Brickhouse Brown ringing the bell of Black Scorpion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you do not watch this on YouTube, please watch it and go to... You want to go around about the 50 minute mark if you just want to watch this match. Jesus Christ. Pink Panther now in. Pink mask. Pink and blue singlet. White boots. Brickhouse Brown annihilates him and out he goes. Len Denton is the only capable wrestler on this on his side and he is being made to look shit. Side headlock takedown by Brickhouse. Pink Panther with shoulders were down so Jay Callum made the count. Big slam there by Brown. Oh, fist drop there by Brickhouse. Pink Panther's in the wrong part of town. Oh, big right hand by Harley. Drop kick by Brickhouse. Manoli, Moly right under the chin. Tag into Harley Davidson who comes over the top rope. Black trunks, black boots. The future hillbilly. Big slam there by Harley. Harley picks up Pink Panther and. What's he going to do with him now? Oh, slams him back down again. In comes Dirty Rhodes. Dirty Rhodes, big back elbow off the ropes on Pink Panther. Big dust, uh, big Dirty Rhodes. Dropped out beautifully. Dropped elbow there by. Hang time there by Dirty Rhodes. Irish Whip tags in Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson catches Pink Panther off the ropes. Big backbreaker. One, two, three. Winners of the match. Bickass Brown, Harley Davidson, and Dirty, Dirty, Dirty Rhodes. And the team that certainly uh, looked like a favorite team from the very beginning, and that was Harley and Dirty and Brickhouse Brown, uh, came through with a victory in that particular match over the Black Scorpion. Our first look at him, the grappler, first time we've seen him in a while, and the Pink Panther, who ended up getting pinned. We're going to take time out, and we will be back in just a moment. We got a match coming up Monday night that is something else. I, I, I don't think anybody has ever seen anything like this 26-man back alley street brawl, but I'll get to that in just a second. Hold it. Okay. Five o'clock today, all day on Monday, and we're going to be looking for you down Coming there. out of there, the victor, and listen to this, a back alley brawl. Now, they're all going to come in there in street clothes. They will not all be walking out of there in street clothes. There will be guys in there who will be coming out shed of a bunch of it. Somebody will be 5,200 bucks richer, and it may be one of these gentlemen right here. Austin. It, it might be, but you know, I've got something that's right now more important to me. I don't claim to be the biggest, I don't claim to be the strongest, but I do claim to be one of the baddest, and I'm going to kick off spring cleaning around here by taking some garbage, by taking some trash like Randy Savage and shoving him right down this trash can Monday night. Guys. There's a lot of people that like to see that, Jerry. I said it a while ago, but I want to make it perfectly clear to all of the people that have supported me over the years, and especially to you, Jimmy Hart, you little pencil neck wimp. Monday night, brother, is going to be a different story. I don't care how big, how strong, or how bad this humongous is supposed to be. It's going to be a different story because that mask is going to come off. And what's underneath there, brother, I'm going to put this up against all night long. I think you got the right strategy, Jerry, and good luck to you in there because this guy is big, and with that mask, it just changes the whole complexion of it. Those are just two of the matches, and then I'm telling you, I really can't wait to see those 26 guys come in there with clothes and 25 of them go out without them, I'll tell you. And one guy walk out with his clothes or at least some part of it. And 5,200 big ones right there, man. They've each got 100 bucks a piece invested in this. Anybody can win it. It's the type of thing that they can come in there with their pockets loaded. Anything goes. <laughs> Ready in the ring for the second fall of action here. So this is an explosion of time, match. I don't think they said that. They didn't really have time for fucking any um, introductions, so we've still got uh, the grappler, Black Scorpion and Pink Panther going up against Harley Davidson, Dirty Rhodes and Brickhouse Brown. So Harley Davidson's team are winning. Harley Davidson and the grappler are starting. 
Coming over top. Shove off again by Harley. This is the first time on television that Harley Davidson has been sort of in competition with someone relatively his size and um, structure in wrestling. He's usually facing enhancement talents. I do not count the Rappler Len Denton as enhancement talent. He's a very good in ring ma a wrestler and a very good on the mic as well. Kind of top, both in jostling for position, knee by the grappler, and we're at the back of the head. Rams, high Davidson, head first in the top turnbuckle. Snap, mares him out of the corner. Goes to cover, one, two. Oh, power kick out there by Harley. Grappler backing off. Grappler backing off. Buffman sort of circling. Don't know what to do. Neither man wants to be the first to make a move. Hard Davidson going to ask him for a test of strength. Alan Denton agrees. And both men are uh, test of strength here. Both men fairly equal in power. Hard Davidson now, now in control. Harley Davidson has grapplers for oh and stomps on those fingers. Biffman back up to the feet. Biffman circling. Can't never tie up. Side headlock by Davidson. Tags it in Dirty Roads. Dirty Roads back in. Oh, right into the gut. Oh, boy, let go by there by Dirty. Skipping around the ring. Oh, shoves Pink Panther off the apron. Dirty Rhodes very happy with uh, what's going on here. Bit, uh, bit too much dusty here, but you know what it is. It's American Dream, baby. It's American Dream. So they look by the grappler. Often imitated, never duplicated, baby, if you will. The roads uh, slipped out of the uh, side of look. And the grapplers complain he's on. No way he could have done that. Something must have been illegal, but it wasn't. About two minutes gone in this one. Second fall of action. Full Nelson now from the grappler. Are the fingers locked? Are the fingers locked? The fingers are not locked. The fingers are locked. The fingers are locked, actually. And the butt bump there by uh, Dirty. A couple of bumps got out the full Nelson. <laughs> Pink Panther now tagged in. Yep, Pink Panther now in. Pink Panther can't never talk. Oh, form smashed by Panther. And again. And again. Oh, Jesus. Terry Rhodes just uh, slapped 